Solving log equations is very similar to how we evaluated logs. What we're going to do is we're going to rewrite the problems as exponents and solve. Let's look at some examples. Let's try log base x of 8 equals 3. Now the variable is inside the logarithm. That's OK. We're just going to rewrite it as an exponent problem, x to the third power equals 8, and solve the resulting equation. The opposite of taking a third power is taking a third root. So we'll do that to both sides. And we end up with x equals the cubed root of 8, which is just 2. x is equal to 2. Let's solve another example. Let's consider log base 5 of 2x minus 6 equals 2. Again, to solve for the x that appears inside the logarithm, we're going to rewrite this as an exponent problem with a base of 5 and an exponent of 2 equals the answer of 2x minus 6. Well, 5 squared we know is 25 equals 2x minus 6. And then we can solve by adding 6 to both sides, giving us 31 equals 2x. And finally, dividing both sides by 2. And so the x in there is 31 halves, or 15.5. So in general, when working with logs and exponents, we just want to be able to move back and forth between the two. If we can't work with it as a log, we'll change it to an exponent. If we can't solve it as an exponent, we'll change it to a log. And it doubles the amount of ways we have to solve a problem.